In this first demonstration, we're going to try to reorganize some of our code by storing it in a module that we could perhaps include in Terraform files. So to begin with, we're going to head over to the modules page on the Terraform website. And when you scroll through the modules section, you'll see there's a lot here about using modules and the Terraform registry, which we'll get onto in the subsequent demo. But if you click the modules documentation link, this will take us to the modules section on the documentation. And then if you go down to creating modules, you'll find details here about the structure and an example module. And you can see here, it's fairly straightforward. You know, you declare a module, give it the name, and then give it the source that you actually want to get it from. Well, what does this actually mean in practice? So to begin with, let's go over to one of our folders and let's grab the contents from Terraform module five. You remember in module five, we simply created a resource group, as you can see there. So we'll copy across our main TF file, our terraform.tfrs file, and our variables.tf file. And let's copy those over to the module seven folder. And in addition, let's go ahead and create a new folder in there, which we'll just call my module. And if we go ahead now into Visual Studio Code, and look at this, we've got our main file, our variables, that obviously create our subscription, you know, connection, etc. there. And if we go back to main.tf and we take this section, let's copy this out. Let's cut it out entirely, actually. And let's open the My Module folder and create a new file in there, which we'll call modulexample.tf. Paste that in there. We'll call the name of this resource group Skylines Demo 7 in this case. And now we need to actually call it. So what we need to do in the main.tf file, where we've got nothing in there right now, we are actually going to use the syntax module. My module, we'll give this a name in Terraform, and we will say the source for this module is the subfolder mod, my module. Okay, and we save that. Now let's go over to PowerShell and see if this will run. So the very first thing you'll notice is it will say, Error loading modules, module my module not found, may need to run Terraform in it. So at least it gives you a bit of a prompt for you there. And if we type Terraform in it, what you will see is it's initializing the modules first of all in this section at the top. And so if we actually go over to Visual Studio Code again, you can see if we expand out the Terraform folder that gets created, there's a module subfolder in there where it's basically compiled everything and imported that particular set of code for Terraform. And now if I simply go ahead and apply, it'll obviously go ahead and create that resource group pretty quickly. So fairly straightforward. That's how you can create your own modules. You can store a whole bunch of them together, give them a folder structure. If there's things you want to reuse throughout your code, you can store them there and then you can reference them in multiple Terraform configurations that you create.